very excited to talk about an issue with iterating through asynchronous functions. To illustrate this function, let's look at what I, an example that I've set up. So if we're going to use jQuery on the server side. So in order to do that, this is what you have to do in case you're wondering. So now we have jQuery available. We need to create a function called getFlickerImage. We'll use the Flickr API to get a list of images back with a particular tag that we input to the query. So this will search, let's say the tag is Apple. We'll search for images with the tag Apple from Flickr. So once it's done, we basically set the, we, we return the item, basically the image URL of the first item, and then call the callback. So this is a very fun, easy and simple function to get image from Flickr. So now here we have a list of tags that we want to search on Flickr. So basically we want to call this function passing each of these through and we want to return the images and combine them into one single variable. So I have some three tags here, Alistar, Blitzcrane, and Caitlin. So let's see a bad implementation. So this implementation here, it's bad. And the reason it's bad is, let's take a look at why it's bad. Here we use lodash and we do each, going through each tags. And then we have an image variable. We set it as empty object. We set the tag to be this tag, whatever that's passed in. So image.tag will be, you know, Alistair or Bliss Crane or Caitlin. And then we call the get flicker image function that we set up earlier. So this will asynchronously call uh, the Flickr API and then sets when we look for the results basically if the URL is found from the callback then we'll add the URL to this image object so we set image object equals URL and then finally we push our image to the image list array so in theory if we call this and run this we should return list of three images each of them with these tags for them. So let's run it and see what happens. Hmm, we get an empty object, an empty array. So why is that? I mean, we didn't, I don't see any errors in here. So let me log here just to see if we actually get something back on the server. Yeah, it does. But why does this get run first before this is finished? Well, that's precisely the problem. This Flickr, get Flickr image is something that takes time to execute. So in JavaScript, they will basically continue executing this part first without waiting for this thing to finish. That's why we have an empty array here. So let's see how we can solve that using async. So let's look at async.each. Async.each is one of the functions that comes with the async library where you can use it to do asynchronous requests magically and it will always guarantee that by the time you finish you'll have something printed out in this image list. So this is the same signature and function but the only difference is I'm using async.each instead of lodash.each so async.each, we're passing the tag. The difference is it, it's this function here, this tag will be the name of the tag. And then this callback here is something we need to pass into this callback function. So you do the get flicker image function. And then you, if there's an error, you do callback with the error as the first parameter. This means there's something wrong with this get flicker image and we want to exit right away. And if there's no error, we'll basically do the same thing and then finally call this callback function with nothing passed in. That means it's successful. And then it will go through the next function again and again until it goes through every element of tags array. And then this here is a final callback function. This is at the very end. So when all of this iteration has been done, it will call, it will look at if there's an error object. So if, if it pass an error here, it will be caught here. So you will, something if one of the iteration fail, then the whole thing will fail. Otherwise, 
we finally have an image list object and it should have all the values that we want. So let's test this out. As you can see, it's image list and it has all the values. So it's really handy. If it will solve your problems if you ever want to iterate through a asynchronous functions. So async each can also handle objects. They call it something different. It's called async um, for each of. So this function, this is the function signature. And here, instead of passing a list of arrays, we pass an object. Tags will be an object. So you can use async for each of to loot through these tags. And then here, you can provide it the value, which is tag A, tag B, tag C. And then, sorry, value is the Alistair, Blitzkrieg, and Caitlin, and then key will be tag A, tag B, tag C. So you can use these values that are available to manipulate the outcome. Here I'm just doing the exact same thing, and then the result of this function call will be the same. As you can see, it's the exact same result as the previous one. So this is really handy if you want to loop through a list of objects. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this useful and stick around for more iteration tutorials with async.